Nobody ODM here, and today I'm gonna show you guys some more of the creations I've been working on. There's the orange techno deal over there. But, like, I think it was either the same day that I posted the video about the advanced buggies, or the second day, I made both of these. And the, I'm assuming, like, the day after. So, day after, made this. Day after that, made these two. The point being, I made all these only a little bit after I posted that video. So basically, I was thinking one day, little orange tech was thinking, I need some way to transport some vehicles around my worlds. I was thinking, you know, we have the buggy, we do have the trailer, but we need something more permanent, something more, like, something that we can rely on. But I thought, semi-truck. So, so what I thought, as I was thinking about that, I had an idea for like the grill design. So I had some pipes here, then I had lights, and then more piping, and then piping in there. It's kind of like a grill. Anyway, you can jump up, step up in here, you can turn on the thing. Also, I wanted to mention, the world looks weird because I had this in like the normal, like the normal scrap mechanic. I loaded up the test because I wanted to test it out, and I, and I loaded it up in this world, and then all the mountains did that. <laughs> so anyway, that's why there was floating trees everywhere. I'll show you guys how this works. So. All we have to do is use our trailer, not our trailer, our truck. And all we have to do is just slowly back up. Got back up. So it should be good. Once it gets like that, okay. So what we want to do is we want to go under. We want to check. Okay, so then we have to hit this button right here in the back. And that locks it in. Then we use this. That pulls up the outriggers and then we can start driving away with our car go but i was thinking this is pretty cool but i kind of want to make some other trailers just in case you know we want to transport vehicles but also i want to mention that we have lights and go to the back hit this button that opens here and you, you can just jump up on and you can outload cargo what i'm going to do now is i'm going to, going to detach of the trailer right now so all we gotta do is hit this that untaches it and then we gotta put it down and then all we have to do is drive forward and bam we're disconnected then we can go over to this trailer right here this is the flatbed because there's not yeah it's not like it's not fully encased so i'm gonna hook this one up real quick that should be good hook it in and our rivers up now what we can do is we can do this, and then we can do since it's basically almost flush with the floor, we can grab our orange tech mobile. Now I can drive right up into our flatbed trailer. As you can see. Now we should do pull that up, and we're good to go. The front is not in case that is the only warning i have about this trailer you know what i'll do is actually i'll actually leave the orange tech mobile in here in case we want to transport it so now this is supposed to be the forestry trailer which i haven't really tested out i'm going to try and make a couple of improvements to this one right here this is the logging trailer just to make sure you know it actually works So this one, you, you just put your logs in, start driving around. You know what, that's what I should add. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a little red beeps when you're backing up. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> I wanna do that, all right. What I'll do for now is I'll, I'll back up our, uh, our logging trailer. Now for this one, this is one of my favorites, is the crane trailer. So basically what this is made for is if you have different kinds of stuff you need to uh, like drive around like you need transport this trailer is it for you yeah, perfect okay so now now we're hooked in we have this that doesn't do anything i need to remove that but as you can see it has a crane we can we can do this and i'm i i know it's not symmetrical i'm sorry but it doesn't fully grab I don't do it like that. We have it like this. We can one to go up and down. We can grab. And we can also extend if we need to. Because extending. So basically, I tried to make something like this. 
and as you can see, it has a hook, but this is really heavy, and that actually tips over the whole trailer. So, I, I, again, I know this is not symmetrical. Also, in the test branch, the lift looks so cool. Okay, I'm going to rotate this like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach over, I'm going to pull, I'm going to put, pull this down. Something like that. Anyway, I go in, reach for it. It's ready, you know. Bam, a lift. You see this thing? The thing isn't that stable right now. So it's gonna look a bit jank. Also, what the heck? Physics? Okay, so I'm gonna try and lift it up. Since I'm lifting up fully, I don't really wanna do that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it down. I'm gonna try and get in a good position. Like this. Unhook it. Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go, okay. <laughs> Scrap against bugging out a little bit, but hey, it works. As you can see here, it is ready. It is ready to be transported. On extend, kind of pulled in a little bit more. Something like that. That seems good. All right, you can drive, and our crate is being transported. What the heck is that physics? Okay, I'm just gonna park it here because physics kind of bugging out a little bit. Anyway, let's see if we can do that. Bang! What the heck did I do to the trailer? One's not going. Wait, what the heck? It fully. What the heck is this? That's what's bugging out. This. What the heck is going on? I'm so confused right now. All right, yeah, physics is not doing too well, so I'm, I'm gonna remove this. Just so we can have a little bit more frames. We have to go onto the double trailer. And as you may have noticed, with the first trailer, with the first box trailer, the door, it just opened, right? But this thing, if you try and do that with two trailers, it's gonna clip onto the back, it's gonna clip onto the second trailer and you're not gonna be able to open it. And I was thinking about that, and I'm like, hmm, that is pretty true. That should be good. Okay, it's hooked in. We gotta do that rigor for both of these. Then we can drive, right? And obviously, it's very slow, but what I like to do is I like to crank that up by one, so we can drive a little bit faster with our cargo. But, how are we supposed to get the cargo from the first one? Basically, if I open the door of this, it's gonna cling onto here. And as you can see by this, this is what I came up with. So what happens? It doesn't go all the way down. I actually could have it, but this block would be in the way. What I thought of is have a piston extend the other trailer out so this has enough room to open. Then if you want, you can use your lift and you can go up a little bit. You can jump on and get in your cargo. So that is what I thought of it worked a little bit better. Alright. And also you can just get the back because it's not a third trailer. So that is about it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna park this. Un un unhook it. And yeah, that is all of the creations. Also by the time this video is up, all the creations that you see here should be available for download. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed my creations. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want more content just like this. And yeah, you guys for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.